Hi, Jesse Canone from LoseTheBackPain.com with a quick video about muscle imbalances. Many people don't realize it, but one of the biggest causes of back, neck, and sciatic pain is what we refer to as muscle imbalances. So what, you know, what are muscle imbalances? Muscle imbalances are a imbalance between one or two uh, muscle groups. So an example would be the muscles here in the front of the hip, okay, you take your hip flexor muscles in relation to the gluteal muscles. If these hip flexor muscles are stronger and tighter in relation to the glutes, you have an imbalance. That imbalance then pulls your pelvis forward. That's just one example. Another common example of a muscle imbalance is the lower abdomen and the lower back. Okay, many, many people have tight, uh, chronically tight lower back muscles and a lot of weakness in the lower abdomen area. So those are just two quick examples. But uh, how do they develop? So, you know, how do they come about? Muscle imbalances come about primarily due to how we use our bodies. So, for instance, many of us spend a lot of time sitting. You spend a lot of time sitting, again, the hip flexor muscles get really tight. When you're sitting, you know, you're bent here at the hip, you're also bent at the knee. Hamstrings get really tight. Glutes get really soft and weak because you're sitting on them and they're not working. So, there's an example, just sitting, how this muscle gets tight, this muscle gets tight, this muscle gets weak and the abdomen gets weak because they're not being worked. So you've got two muscles getting tight, two muscles getting weak, two different sets of muscle imbalances that are created and worsened by uh, prolonged sitting. How do they cause pain? So now you've got a basic understanding of what a muscle imbalance is and how they come about. You know, how do they actually create pain? So first of all, they, they can do it two ways. They can create pain directly. So this imbalance here in the hips you know, again, pulling the pelvis down and forward can create pain in my lower back muscles because they're now shorter and tighter than they're supposed to be and they're being kind of placed under a constant strain. So that can be painful directly to those muscles. It also, though, muscle imbalances can also create a, what's called a condition or often referred to as condition, say a herniated disc. People don't realize or see the connection here, but if your spine is supposed to be here and you're here, Okay, you've got all this excessive curve here in the lower back because of these muscle imbalances. It's placing excessive wear and tear on the discs. Well, that's making the discs break down much sooner than they normally would. So they create pain directly and also indirectly by creating a condition then that creates pain. Now, last step here is how do you treat them? So you've got an idea of what a muscle imbalance is. You understand how they come about. Well, how do you actually treat them? You know, how do you, how do you get rid of them so they stop causing you pain. So what you need to do is what we call muscle balance therapy. So obviously if you've got muscle imbalances, you need to work on rebalancing them. So we call that muscle balance therapy. It's what we teach in our lose the back pain system. And basically how you do that is with a combination of exercises, stretches, and other self-treatments. But you do it first by identifying the exact specific muscle imbalances you have. So it's not just generic back exercises that you'd get on a sheet at the doctor or chiropractor's office. You know, half of those will help you, half of those will hurt you because they're not specific to you and your current situation and your imbalances. So you've got to find out first what imbalances you have. And you do that with simple self-tests that we teach you. Once you know which imbalances you have, then you can uh, perform the specific corrective exercises and stretches for those imbalances. So let's just say, for example, I've got an imbalance between the hip flexors and the glutes, which is, a, again, a very common one, caused by tightness and overdevelopment of these muscles here. So I've got to strengthen and loosen some of the restriction there. So stretching the hip flexor muscles would be part of the equation. Strengthening the gluteal muscles would be another piece of it. Okay? But key thing I want to mention here is we all have muscle imbalances. And we all have more than one. So it's not like you, know, you have back pain just because these two uh, muscle groups are out of balance. There's multiple imbalances going on. You've got the inner and outer thighs, the lower abdomen, the lower back, you know, all the muscles in the, in the torso and you know, supporting the spinal column. You've got the quadriceps and hamstrings. You've got the shins and the calves. So all throughout the body, we have muscle imbalances. The worse they are, the more they tend to cause pain. So key thing is if you want to get lasting relief, not just temporary improvement or temporary relief, you've got to identify your imbalances and then address them. I hope you found this quick video helpful. You can find more just like it on our website, losethebackpain.com.